I'm back about to do another makeup tutorial. I'm gonna show you guys how I do an easy, glowy summer makeup look. Always start with skin prep. I'm gonna go in first with the glazing milk. I don't think I've done a tutorial video yet, like a makeup tutorial video, when the glazing milk was out in the world yet. I've teased it in other videos, but I think this is the first one that it's actually out in the world and available. Going in with the glazing milk, of course, always wanna have that super glazed, glowy, juicy skin. I always like to still go in also with the peptide glazing fluid. It's my holy grail go-to for makeup prep and also, you know how much I love to mix it with my makeup a lot. So I'm going in with that and because it's summer, I feel like I have been doing this combo a lot more because it's warm. I've been in some places that have been more humid and I feel like this combination is so hydration packed and it looks so stunning under my makeup. So this has been my go-to. If I was getting my makeup done and it was gonna be more of a full glam, then I would definitely go in with a richer moisturizer over top of this as well because I really like to keep my skin super, super hydrated under my makeup. I am actually gonna go in with one more secret thing. I've been having a lot of fun testing this out. And what I will say is that it leaves and keeps the skin and the face feeling really snatched and sculpted. The first thing I'm gonna start with my contour slash underpainting. This is the Makeup Forever palette and I love using this for my underpainting slash contour vibe. It's perfect for that. And I really love this hourglass brush. I feel like it kind of just pushes the product really nicely into the skin and it makes everything look really, really even and seamless. I wanna make sure I look bronzy and glowy in my skin. I'm pretty tan right now, so I wanna make sure that everything looks even and matches. I'm trying to make sure I always blend it out underneath my jawline and like into my ears so that it doesn't leave any splotchiness or unevenness. I just feel that the snatch you get from this technique is pretty undefeated if you ask me. Next I'm gonna go in with the Hourglass Concealer. I'm gonna go in all the spots I normally go in. Get that lift. Once again, I'm not going too light with the concealer because my body is really tan and I need to try to match it as much as I can. Just taking this brush to blend it out in the smaller areas. I always end up using my finger too, so it is what it is. I think that this concealer is really creamy and beautiful but has really good coverage too and it's buildable and nice. Before I go in with any product over this contour and concealer, I'm gonna just buff it out the tiniest bit. And if I was gonna go in next with a foundation, I probably wouldn't have pre-buffed it out, but I'm not gonna use something with as much coverage as a foundation because I'm doing like a light summer makeup that I want my skin to breathe and look really fresh and natural. So what I am gonna go in with is this Hourglass Veil, which is their hydrating skin tint. It's really light, really beautiful, gives such a nice glow, but also a good coverage, but not too much and I do feel like it's definitely buildable if you want it to be. I just put some on the back of my hand and I'm gonna go in with the fluffy side of this brush and I'm gonna just buff it into the skin over that contour and concealer and then it kind of just helps melt everything into the skin as you can see. I think this is really nice for the summer because it's light. Your skin feels like it can breathe. It gives nice coverage but isn't too overpowering. It's really, really beautiful. Next, I'm going to do my blush. I'm gonna do two different blush shades. A nudie, beigey pink. And I like to do that first because it almost bronzes up the skin a little bit too. Such a pretty color. And the next one I'm gonna go in with is a little bit more of like a baby ballerina pink. And I, love glowy dewy summer skin vibe just saying before i move on to the next step i'm going to just 
start doing a little powder under my eyes and let it sit for a second. Hourglass veil. I don't like to do a lot of powder just because I like to stay looking really glowy, but I do definitely feel like it's necessary to set my makeup. Okay, so that was powder. I'm not a big brow girl, so I'm just gonna brush them up. I like to go the reverse way like this and then brush them. One of these days I'll be a girl who fills in her brows, but today's not that day. I'm gonna use this color from this Simi Haze palette, this nice dusty rose color right there. I feel like that's a color that I think people have probably see me use often, like something in that world. Next I'm gonna do a little bit of mascara. And this is the Hourglass Mascara, which I love. I use this a lot. I feel like people point out the way I say mascara. And mascara. Mascara. <laughs> I think I say mascara very New York, like where I grew up. Mascara. I'm not always a bottom lash girl, but that really did something for me. I have to do this liner lip situation off camera because I'm not ready to to tease this yet. I am still here. You can see it kind of just like enhanced my lips and it's like a nudie color. Just brings more definition to the lips and it's so natural and beautiful, which I love. And then I'm gonna do a little highlight. The last thing that I'm gonna do is my peptide lip treatment and look what's back. Vanilla cake. This is vanilla cake back permanently as road vanilla. So this is our permanent road vanilla scent. And I'm so happy that it's back. I really missed this scent. It definitely became my favorite along with the salty caramel. I think I'm done. I mean, this is usually just my typical go-to summer night out makeup. That's in the sun. Woohoo! That's my glowy, summer, dewy, go-to look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much for watching it, and <laughs> I'll see you next time.